Coming up on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe, you'll get an inside look at what exactly Best Buddies is through Josh's interview with Mrs. Widener. Plus, you'll hear from some of our Best Buddies pairs on how they feel when they're disrespected. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, and voted one of the best in the Midwest, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Thanks for joining us on this edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Caleb Alt. And I'm Isaac Nelson. March is Best Buddies Month. Each, each week we'll feature a different Best Buddies pair. This week we're joined by Mackenzie Thompson and her buddy Gavin Franklin. Welcome Mackenzie and Gavin to the show. Mackenzie, what's your favorite thing about Best Buddies? Um, I really like about Best Buddies the fact that we get to meet new people and we get to interact with people that we normally wouldn't on a normal day basis. And you just get to meet these amazing people and have amazing friendships that really do last a lifetime. For those of you who don't know, Gavin is Inside the Tribe's biggest fan, and he comes down every week while we're filming to support all of us. So Gavin, what is your favorite thing about being a part of Best Buddies? I think it's a really good thing about Best Buddies for friends and family who have disabilities and to make friends with people who have some hard times and to have some fun and everything you need to have, know about how to make a friend. Winter sports are winding down and spring sports are gearing up. Josh is back with the Raider Report and he's joined by Inside the Tribe's biggest fan, Gre Gavin Franklin. Welcome back to the Raider Report. I'm Josh McCartney. And I'm Gavin Franklin. Our first shout out goes to Madeline Aaron of the girls basketball team who competed at the state three point tournament at ISU's Redbird Arena. Great job, Madeline. Great job to the boys basketball team and the great season they had this year. They ended the season with a 17 and 12 record and, couldn't, and we couldn't be more proud of their performance. They took a solid win against Washington for senior night and a win against Dunlap in the first round of regionals. Unfortunately, the, Razor, the Raiders season came to an end when they took a tough loss against Metamora. However, we're still very proud of all their accomplishments this season. Now here is a look of a little bit of the cheerleaders performance at senior night. <laughs> The anti-bullying quote of the week was said by Zach Efron. You always have to remember that bullies want to bring you down because you have something they admire. That quote was submitted by Mrs. Lambert. A revive is reviving the vice versa. The theme is play as ball and the dance happens on Saturday, March 16th. Buy your tickets in advance during lunch in the cafeteria for $5 a piece the week of the dance. If you are bringing a date from another school, please pick up a form from Ms. Pfeiffer's room in 215E. Students are reminded that parking in the space is marked for co-op, which are marked with signs and red lines, can and will result in these t vehicles being ticketed and possibly towed. Students authorized to park in these spaces will have parking tags that clearly state co-op in red letters. This month is Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. Spread the word on teen dating abuse and healthy relationships with the hashtag TeenDVMonth. Tryouts for the 2019-2020 EPCHS dance team will be held Monday, March 18th, Tuesday, March 19th, and Wednesday, March 20th in the EPCHS gym at 7.30. If you have any questions, contact Kaylee George at kgeorge14 at eureka.edu. On Tuesday, March 12th, ICC will be here to administer the AccuPlacer test to seniors planning to go to ICC after graduation. The AccuPlacer is a mandatory test used to place students in their English and math courses at ICC. In order to take the AccuPlacer, you must be registered with ICC and have your ICC ID number. Registration can be completed at the icc.edu slash apply. Students must have an email address and know their social, social security number to apply. This must be done at least three days prior to testing. Summer school registration is now open. Forms will be available in student services and on the EP309 website. The cost is $100 for the first course and $50 for the second course. The summer dates are between June 3rd and June 27th. Driver education and credit recovery courses are available. There are many scholarship opportunities available. If you're interested, please see the announcements or your counselor for more information. 
The Fond du Lac Library is currently seeking to fill a part-time position. If interested, check out the details in the link below. Various branches of the military will be set up during lunch hours outside of the cafeteria, March 4th through 8th. The Spring Musical is taking place March 8th and 9th at 7.30 p.m. and March 10th at 2 o'clock p.m. Tickets cost $6 for adults, $4 for non-East Peoria students, and are free for East Peoria students with an ID. This year we will be performing The Wizard of Oz. Now let's get an inside look at Best Buddies. Today I'm talking with Ms. Widener, and she's here to tell us a little bit about Best Buddies. So what is Best Buddies? Hi, thank you very much. So Best Buddies is a international organization. It's actually grown a lot in central Illinois. In 2014, we only had 12 chapters that were just in high schools and colleges. And now, obviously, it's 2019, and we have 29 that's represented in um, high school, college, and elementary schools. Um, Central Junior High just started one up, and also all the feeder schools that lead into Central also have Best Buddies. And it's an organization that focuses on including everyone um, and promoting friendships with students with and without um, developmental disabilities. Um, so it's a great way for everyone to get involved, um, meet new friends. Um, so yeah, it's pretty great. All right. And then uh, the month of March is also Best Buddies Month. Uh, so what kind of activities will take place in the month of March? Yeah. So in March, um, next week on March 6th, we're going to be doing our Spread the Word for Inclusion campaign. Um, we're going to be signing a poster in the cafeteria. We're going to be selling bracelets similar to the ones that we sold last year, but a different design and color. Um, so, you know, bring in some change for that. And then we'll be um, pledging a sign to spread inclusion in our school. Um, if you're interested in getting signed up for Best Buddies, um, come see me here in Special Services. We have a list um, of our newsletters up on this bulletin board here our you know, window display, <laughs> um, so feel free to come down and see me in special services and we can get you signed up. All right, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Maddie Inman and I'm here with Emily Matheny, president of Best Buddies. As you heard from Miss Weidner, March is Best Buddies Month. So can you tell us a little bit about the campaign going on this month? Yes, on Wednesday, March 6th, we are going to be having a campaign in both lunches to spread the word to end the word. You can sign the banner and we will also be selling bracelets that you can purchase to wear on your wrist. And how can one get involved with Best Buddies? You can join next year to be a peer buddy or associate buddy. And you can also sign up to do the friendship walk that will be April 14th in Bloomington. And lastly, what is your favorite part about being a Best Buddy? My favorite part about being a Best Buddies is being able to see the smiles on everybody's faces at each meeting and hopefully making a difference in everybody's lives to just spread inclusion throughout this school. Thank you. The next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by... <laughs> So Jake, how does it make you feel when other people are disrespectful? Well, it definitely doesn't make me feel good. It kind of ruins my day, and it just kind of just brings my whole day down. And I'd like to ask you, like, what can you do to help people who are kind of disrespecting other, or who are being disrespected and kind of being left, at, left out of activities? You can include them, ask them to hang out with you, ask them to eat lunch. If you want to go to a basketball game, you can dance for them and sing for them and just try and be their friend. How do you feel when people disrespect you? I feel very upset. And how are you, can you help people feel included? Um, we could ask them to join us in the activities. How do you feel when people disrespect you, Turner? Man, I feel utterly disrespected and really sad when that happens. And, um, how, and Momi, how would you um, include other people? Um, I would include them by making sure they're okay and standing up for them when people disrespect them. So how does it make you feel when someone disrespects you? It makes me feel sad and hurt and angry. And if they want to ignore me, I would just 
I'll feel sad and hurt and all that. All right, and what can you do to help others who are kind of being disrespected in the school? I would tell them, hey, leave them alone. And I tell them, if you want to make a friend with somebody, you can come to Best Buddies. We'll be lucky to have you. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, listen to Becca Ransom every day during Raider Hour or go to the EP website. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. That's all for this week. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Caleb Ball. And I'm Isaac Nelson. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider, Raider Day. day. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. Happy birthday.